welcome to the final week of Thursday Night Face Off. What a ride it's been. I'm your host, Kevin Moore. Alexis Bass is off tonight, but she'll be in the show later on. And I'm Alexis Beckett, here to hopefully do Alexis Bass justice tonight as we wrap up TNF for the season. I doubt it. She already messed up the color scheme. This doesn't match at all. It's but Valentine's yeah, Day. Yeah, anyway, how about we start with some playoff hockey. Allie Randall, her first year as Northern Stars head coach, leading her group to a four seed hosting Elk River. These two teams played to a tie about a week ago. All right, I'm done. Five seeded <laughs> Elks looking for a little bit of revenge. First period right off the faceoff. Andy Hooslitz sends a laser by Bouvois to put the Elks up one nothing with nine and a half to go in the period. But just three and a half minutes later, Northern Stars respond. The freshman Mar oh. McCall forehead, backhand, filthy. We got a tie game with six minutes to play. Elks though still applying the pressure towards the end of the period. But Bouvois, great glove save to keep this one tied at one through the first, but the Elks were too much in the second. Great stick work, and look at the centering pass by Tony Alm. Danny Hendrickson, Hendrickson gets yeah. the goal. It's two to one Elks, and then with six minutes to go in the period, who's lit again with the chance? This time Ooh. she goes top shelf. Elks take the three one lead into the third period. They win this one, six to one, advancing to the section semifinals. And over in Grand Rapids, the Grand Rapids Greenway Lightning defeated Forest Lake by a final of four to one. They advanced to the section semifinals on Saturday. And in case you missed it yesterday, Duluth Denfeld Hockey, along with Rock Ridge, will be jumping into Section 7 AA. This change will start at the beginning of next season. Denfeld Activities Director Tom Pearson said moving up to Section 7 AA has been a topic since about 2008 with hopes of bringing more excitement to the program. The Hunters head coach Dale Dago is aware of the expectations of competing in the new section. We're, we're all going to have to step up. This competition is going to be a little bit tighter, but I think we can compete in that in that section and, and make it to Amsoil, and and then anything can happen in there. So, when our Bantams move up there, it's a whole new step of uh, expectations that are involved with this program, and uh, we're, we're going to have to meet the uh, commitment to, and the uh, expectations of what will be necessary to compete. And tonight, the Hunters matched up against Duluth Marshall Hilltoppers, and this one was a battle to the end. We go to the end of the first period. Not a single goal until Brendan Friday said that's Monday, enough. Tuesday, a top-shelf goal Friday, through traffic Friday. with 10 seconds left. Now to the second. Topper is still with a 1-0 lead, but then it's Andy that's the man dog. Larson from Blue Line to Blue Line. He takes the shot and lights the lamp to tie things up at Mars. Now same period, same score. Caden Postal from around the net gets one through the five hole to take a 2-1 lead. But the toppers would add another to the board and send things into overtime. Hunters handle business in OT and win it 3-2-2. There you go. There's first Section 7 AA win. And we end just across the bridge. Spartan hosting the Cloquet Esco Carlton Lumberjacks. First period. Greatest Severance splits both defenders. Has Ooh. a chance in front of the net. But Kata Kubis gets a pat on it to keep things tied at zero. We stay tied at zero after one. Now Jack with an odd man rush. Noah Knudsen. Can't convert, still not it up at zero. Now Knudsen with another chance, draws iron. Another shot goes wide at the net. Knudsen's next shot gets blocked. This man's Jeez. done shooting. Here, Lucas, take this. <laughs> and Rauner lights the lamp. CEC finally gets finally. their goal. And that goal is the game winner, winning this one. One nothing the final. And the girls had a game across the street, and they just beat all of Western Wisconsin by a final of 8-1. to one. <laughs> Big weekend of section semifinal hockey coming up. We also got a bit of an emotional farewell to some special seniors. Yeah, it was an emotional this weekend. We have a regular season, the last regular season series at Amsoil. We'll hear from head coach Mark Paul as Bulldogs prep for St. Cloud State coming up next on Thursday Night Faceoff.